Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Postman tutorial, we are going to learn about variables in Postman. So, in the last video, we have understood about the collections. Now, let's see what exactly are variables in Postman and then different scope of variables and why do we need variables basically, right? So, for example, let's go ahead to some of these requests basically, the put request or get request, any of these. And if you see here, say for example, this URL, right? So, this URL could be your test URL, could be your prod URL, right? Now, in all of these requests, what we have done is we have hard coded this value which is the URL in every particular request. Is it a good practice in terms of the design and development? It's absolutely not. Now if I highlight any of this, say for example in Postman I have highlighted this URL. Okay now this URL will be same for any of your test environment or prod environment. For example if you are searching www.google.com right so that URL or if until you are browsing that particular website or an API that particular environment URL will be fixed or URI will be fixed so we can set that this up this fixed URL that is required to be used at multiple places as a variable right so here I have highlighted this particular section and you will see in postman I can see let me zoom a little bit okay so now you'll see that set as variable okay so if I click on set as variable you will see I I have this option I can either find a variable or I can set as a new variable if I click on this set as a new variable I can provide the name right I can provide the value whatever value that I have highlighted automatically that will be available here okay in the value and then there is a scope okay so if I click on scope you will see the scope is global environment and collection okay in the last video we have understood about collection so collection is nothing but you can say a collection of requests that you want to have in a particular folder right so you create a collection so this variable that you are defining say for example here I say this is URL okay or I can say this this is a test underscore URL okay this is the name that I can provide you can provide any name any valid name for your URL and then I can select a scope whether it's a global variable whether it's environment or collection I'll explain more about global environment and collection so let us let us keep it as global when we say global global means it's globally available to any of the collection in this particular workspace any collection any environment right so if you select global as a scope this test underscore URL can be used in here regress in the new collection wherever there is a collection so global is the highest level of scope okay and when you define a variable as a global variable this test underscore URL can be utilized in the down uh, in downward or child nodes that are in the collection or in this particular workspace so let me set this up okay so I'll say set variable and then immediately you will see that test underscore URL the name that I have provided it came here in double curly braces okay and if I hover over this you will see the initial and current values are being set and the scope is shown here which is global variable and this G is shown that this is actually a global variable okay now the same way as I used to fire up this particular request right so if I click on send I will get exactly same result as I used to get when this particular URL was hard coded right so this is what a variable is in postman now this is one of the variable now there are many different variables so this is global variable we have environment variable and then we have another variable which is at the collection level right so what is the difference between all of this first let's understand these three there are more but let's first understand these three before we move to others so this is a global variable that means this variable I can go ahead and in the new collection I can say if I say for example I want to use this okay in the new request I want to say this is a this is another collection this is another collection right so I say here I can go ahead and I can use that particular variable okay I think the name was a bit different so it is test URL okay so test URL so if I go ahead here and I say test underscore URL 
I can use that particular variable because this is a global variable. Global variable means that it can be accessed from every place in this particular workspace. Okay. Now, if I go back here, okay, if you want to see these variables where exactly they are saved, if you go to the environments here, okay, and you will see the globals, okay, click on globals and it will open the globals. And in the globals, you will see that test underscore URL is being defined. Okay. Now, if I want to add another variable, okay, in the globals, I can set it up. Okay, so in the globals, if I set another variable, I can set it up and that will be global variable as well. But what about others? So for example, here in the new request, I go ahead and I say, I want to define, let's change it. I want to define another variable. So I highlight it. Okay, so I just highlighted and set as a variable. Close this. Okay, it's all right. Let me close all of this. Don't save. In the collections in new request, we paste save this and let's try to set as a variable. Now this time I'm setting it up as test collection. Okay, so underscore collection. So let me change the scope to collection. Okay, and I'll set it up as collection variable. So I'll set it up as a collection variable, right? So you'll see that this is test underscore collection. So the values are same, but this is the scope is collection variable. That means this particular variable that I have set up is only will be only having the scope in this new collection. Now, if I go back to any of the request here in the request collection and I want to say, for example, I want to use this particular variable test underscore collection. So to get the reference of this particular variable, the in post man you just have to start with double curly braces and i'll say test underscore collection and close that now you will see that there is an error unresolved variable why because the variable that has been defined is for the new collection right so that's how the scope of this variable is defined global will be accessible across the workspace okay collection variable if you define will be accessible only within the collection and then there is a third one important one which is environment variable what exactly is the relevance of environment variable the relevance of environment variable is here if you see in the right hand side no environment right so at the moment if i click on no and uh, in the environment or simply click on environment quick look this icon here click on that you will see that global is set up okay and then there is no active environment so what exactly is environment variable in your testing landscape there are different test environments right so for example if i'm testing this regress api in say for example sit test environment so the end point could be sit so if i go here okay and let's say i'm testing it okay so it could be the environment could be sit.regress.in right or if i'm testing in uat environment it could be uat.regress.in how am i going to manage these environment right when when i'm going to execute the test in different environments so to manage that the postman provides environment uh, variable capability so if i have to define different environments right so i can simply go ahead in the environment section and i can say add the environment variable okay and in the add environment variable you will see that i can say sit environment say for example okay and then for sit environment okay for sit environment what all variables so for example for sit environment test url is whatever value right so for example sit.regress.in right this is the url is sit.regress.in right so you can specify the uh, initial current value and i'll discuss about initial and current value in a moment but you can define these variables here okay so i can save it and then i can define another variable and another environment variable so the benefit of that would be for example if i go here again and add click on add okay and then i can say uat environment and i'll say i can provide same basically same variable name test url right so i can say test url test url and in the because this is a test uat environment so i can say this is uat dot request dot n okay and then save it right now if i close this right and save this as well save this okay and say for example i now go ahead and try to see the environments here okay so for example here i can see now the environment so now if i have to execute so for example this is test underscore this is collection uh, variable but say for example here the variable was in the get it was test underscore url right now if i'll go ahead 
and select the environment SIT environment and execute this particular request. If I just hover over, you will see the SIT URL is being fetched from where? From this SIT environment variable, right? So now I can have same variable name, right? Which is coming from environment and based on changes in the environment, I can go ahead and execute the test without changing any of the URL values, right? So this is the beauty and benefit of having variables in Postman and usage of variable is very, very basic and important stuff. Okay. Now this is one thing. Now the other thing, these are three very important variables, right? Now this is Postman website. As I al uh, always say, best resource to learn is the official learning website so on the postman website this is very good diagram right so global variable we have understood right so postman has global variable collection variable environment variable we have understood all of this with example now there are data variables and there are local variables as well what exactly data variable is we will cover data variable when we are doing data driven testing so for example from external csv file we are fetching the data right and we want to data drive from the excel from the external file then the data variable will be fetching and then using the data from the data variable that's data that's about data variable which will be used in the data driven testing don't worry about data variable at the moment at the moment focus should be that you are learning step by step global collection and environment you should be getting these three concept very clear now data variable for data driven testing will cover it then we have this local variable local variable scope is the minimal global variable you'll see is the maximum if you define something here everyone collection environment data it will be accessible at all the location okay if it is a local variable the scope will be only local local variable will be utilized when you have the you are using it in a script mostly it will be in, within the script when we will start automating script and using the javascript will be defined the local variable during the execution will be utilized it will override if there is any global variable defined and then use the value in the local variable and as soon as script is executed the scope will again be global variable because local variable scope is only during that local execution or local scope right so this is the this will be covered during the scripting I'll cover a lot detail for local variable and data variable during data driven testing okay as of now for this video go ahead and and explore more practice more about global variable setting it up accessing it from different collections set up collection variable play around with it set up environment variable and see different changes in postman after setting up these variable and practicing okay so that's all for this particular video on variables in postman I hope this was helpful thank you very much for watching